ล้วนเล่นเลิบๆลองนางเลิ่งๆ Welcome to another episode at channel Let's Talk. Today we have a guest who came here to study at uh, high school. So today we are going to ask her like how she found Estonia and what kind of uh, requirements were there to fulfill when she was applying for high school. Hello. Hey. How are you? How would you like to introduce yourself to our audience? My name is Ha. I'm from Vietnam and I have lived in Estonia for about three years. Fun fact about me is that I like pineapple on pizza. <laughs> That's great. How did you get the information? Like we have uh, some English medium schools here in Estonia. Yeah, like my sister has a friend, and he was in the high school, so he kind of like rec recommend the high school. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's how I know of the high school. Okay, so what kind of requirements were there which you fulfilled to be here? Uh, my high school is Minaharma, and the the class that I went to is from. International Baccalaureate Diploma Program, uh -huh. and they you need to be from 16 to 19 to apply for the class. How did you find your school? Mm, well, Minaharma is like top school in Estonia, so it it was really nice. It's full of culture in that school. It, the school is, I think, over 100 years old, so it was interesting, very welcoming to international students. So how many international students were in your class? Uh, two in total. Two in total? Uh, three, including one exchange student from Thailand. When you applied here, so did you pay any kind of fee or...? No, I didn't. I, I, uh, like the tuition fee is covered by the government here for high school. Mm -hmm. And what about the other scholarships? Uh, did you get any scholarship while you were studying here? No, I didn't. I pay my own payment. Like, expense, living expense. And what about the language requirement? Like when you uh, start your studies mm -hmm. and later on, is that obligatory for you to learn Estonian or do you have uh, this course as optional? Uh, no, it's not obligatory for me to learn Estonian because my program requires me to study six subjects mm -hmm. from six different groups. Yeah. And I get to choose the subjects that I am going to study. Uh -huh. Yeah, but no, Estonian is not a compulsory. And how did you find your other classmates, like Estonian classmates? How did you people get along? Yes, they, they are amazing and we are still like, very good friends until now. We still go out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's great. Okay, so uh, what do you think about uh, Estonia itself? Like about how did you find Estonia is I, I like as it. a place? Yeah, I, I like it. It's very clean, friendly, um, and also like cultural, culture rich mm -hmm. country. And I think it's it's great for educational purpose. And there are many, many like creative people and startups here. So it's inspiring. Favorite spot in the city for you? I could recommend the paper, the printing and paper museum. Uh -huh. I really enjoy it and I, I actually want to go back and like Aparate de has the the whole complex. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That that place is pretty nice. Okay, in the next section we are going to ask you a few questions uh -huh. and uh, we would like to have your rapid response against my my what? Your rapid response like it's a kind of rapid fire. So whatever the first word comes in your mind, you have to tell us like when we uh -huh. ask you that question. Okay. So, the first of all, uh, what uh, what do you think about uh, people of Estonia? Nice, like kind. Mm -hmm. Kind and nice. What about job search in Estonia mm. after high school? Hard. Uh -huh. What do you think about uh, your high school? Uh, it's, it's amazing. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. You have the opportunity to ask uh, any tongue twister in your language, so we would pronounce that. 
Okay, so uh, if you're Vietnamese, then you need to get the tones like correctly, and then there the next sentence is like, lúa lên lấp lấp lòng nàng lưng lưng. That's that's difficult. Okay, so this that's like the whole the whole sentence is like, lúa lép là lúa nếp. Uh, wait, lúa nếp là lúa nếp non. Lúa lên lấp lấp lòng nàng lưng lưng. Oh, lúa nếp lang. No, well, if you can like uh, segregate this thing, then it would be possible for us mm -hmm. to pronounce. But yeah, we uh, it's. We surrender, like we cannot pronounce this thing. So okay. that's all. Mm -hmm. So it was so nice of you to be here, and uh, it was really a pleasure for us. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much indeed. Thanks. It was nice being here.